Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvement? Well, you caught it. Right here at Ship Tape TV. So, what we've learned so far is that you need to have some type of marine paint on a boat, okay? It's in a very harsh environment. That's where it lives. And we are learning about the all craft. That's what we're going to select for the Monterey. And the guys have spent about a year in between all the shoots that we're doing, getting the boat ready for this man right here. And I want to introduce you to everybody. This is a very good friend of mine. This is Bobby Haina from Eagle Marine. And Bobby is world renowned in painting sport fish boats. Okay, right. and I can pick anybody I want in the world. And I selected you out because I really want this boat right. Okay, and we've known each other for about 20 years. When you fare a boat, Bobby, do you have to seal in that repair with something? Yes, you're, you're, all your fairing products are very porous. Uh, you've got a lot of sand scratches around them. And what we're going to do is we're going to go with the all grip high build primer. It's a very okay. thick primer. And what we're going to do is mix that and spray it on with the spray gun. And what that does is it's going to hide all your porosity, your sand scratches, and give us a nice thick base to sand out. The guy sanded with 80 grit paper the fairing, OK? Uh, we put on this high build primer. What grit paper do we want to sand the high build primer to? After we spray the high build primer on and the overnight cure, we're going to take our long blocks and we're going to bring it up to a 150 grit profile. OK, and, and the reason for these long blocks, guys, is when you're talking about the flares on boats, the curves, the complex curves, you really need something to kind of bridge all those gaps. This is a really, really handy tool. So we sand it with 150. Do we have, do we have to get the debris off with anything? Well, we're going to blow it all off, all our dust and dirt off with a dry rag, and then we're going to go with our all grip cleaner. This is a solvent. This is going to wipe everything down and get it all ready for our finished primer. After the fairing process uh, took place, you asked the guys to wash the boat to get it into the prep area. All right. You then wanted the tower mast off and everything else. That's, that's to keep overspray from getting on aluminum and, and our port lights and everything else. And I mean, literally, they spent a couple of days masking off the boat. Right. All right. So it's masked. High build primers are put on fared areas. We've got original paint. Can we just paint to the original paint or do we have to use something in between to tie the original paint finish to the new paint finish? Well, what we're gonna do after we've got our high build ready and we've blown and wiped and sanded the whole boat, we're gonna go ahead and go with a 545 finish primer. All right, and, and this, is, this is like that tie coat type of primer? That's gonna tie everything together. It's gonna seal off all the old paint and it's going to give us a nice base for our finished coat. Once this cures, what do we sand it to? We're going to sand that with our pneumatic sanders up to a 320 grit profile. All right, that's this baby right here. 320 grit. So we went from 80 grit, 150 grit, 320, 320 grit. grit. OK. And again, I'm sure we're going to have to wipe it down with the solvents and everything else. But, but once the solvents are removed from the boat, what, what do you do to get any lint or, or any? Well, being, being as we use rags and all to wipe our solvent down, we're going to go ahead and use a tack rag on that. And what that'll do is this is a little sticky. And what it'll do, it'll remove any lint, dust, or any, anything that we don't want in our fresh paint. Let's talk about the all craft paint. Now, this, they were telling me, OK, that, that this is a multi-part Formula. Correct. All right, this is the base paint. What do we need to add to it? This is a two part paint. It has the base and the converter. All right. Uh, what, what it is, it's a two to one mix. We're going to take our graduated cup, we're going to put two parts paint, one part is the activator, and then we're going to use a thinner, which we call reducer. That's this right here? Right. How, how, it's hot. It's going to be about 90 degrees when you're spraying. How, what percentage wise do we want to put a reducer in? This is what thins the paint out. This is what keeps a paint uh, wetter longer, right? When it allows it to come through the spray gun and atomize and spray properly. Okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add about 25% reducer to it. You know, when you're mixing up this paint into the paint bucket, do, do you have to get rid of any debris? Do you, do you have to filter it well, at all? That's where our strainers come in at. This is a very fine mesh strainer and we will run all our paint through that before we put it into the spray gun so we don't clog our spray head. Okay, so, so we strain it and, and, and it goes into this canister right here. Now, right. now this is done with air pressure. These, these, these spray guns work with air pressure and it is 
crucial that you do this environmentally responsible. You want to make sure that you're in an approved spray booth. Okay, and that's what they have out here at American Custom Yachts. They have multiple approved spray booths. Let's talk a little bit about the tools here, Bobby, that professional boat painters use. This is an actual paint gun, right? Correct. And, and I'm noticing that you've got quite a bit of flexibility and maneuverability with this particular tool versus this one right here. Check this out. Why, why the long wand with the with the well, paint a, gun out here? That's a 36 extension arm, 36 inch extension arm. Um, on a smaller gun, I'll use that in tighter places, getting around handrails, tower legs, and things of that nature. Well, on the areas I can't reach because of the angle of like the face of the flybridge or the face of the house, I can now reach it with this. Okay, fantastic. How many coats of the all craft do we need to put onto the hull side, Bobby? We're gonna put three coats, Sean. We're gonna wait about 15 minutes in between each coat, and then we're gonna go ahead with our third finish coat, and that'll be it. Okay, now, you specialize in that 40 to 80 foot boat range, okay? Correct. If somebody wanted to learn more about your services or, or the services here at American Custom Yachts, if somebody wanted to get a quote, because I'm telling you, this is one of the finest painters in the world. I can select anybody you want, want to do. Can we link people up? Uh, the best way to get in contact with Eagle Marine is at one O-N-E Eagle Marine at AOL.com. Well, Bobby, I can't wait to see all your hard work. But what we need to do right now is take a very short time out, but keep it right here because when we come back, we're going to show you how to spot repair your varnish, saving you a ton of labor. We'll cover it right after this.